Businesses are changing in real time. The days of working deep into your own sweat in order to get a business off the ground are actually coming to a close. With the internet becoming the epitome of business endeavors across the world, is it any surprise that the best opportunities obviously lie within it? Like all things, they progress, they grow and open up new opportunities for all those that invest time into them. And in this case, the ways in which you may traditionally know businesses are changing. And that's where we introduce a new form of business, the one person business model, the solopreneur, and it is what it says on the tin. An all encompassing business in which one person is able to grow, maintain and monetize it all on their own. 20 years ago, such an idea would have been thought literally impossible. Even a decade ago, the internet was still young and this was unlikely. But nowadays, teenagers are taking their solopreneur journeys upon themselves and embarking on the one person business model. And what's more, they're making serious money from it for a tenth of the work that a normal business would have required. The possibilities beyond those phrases are extensive, giving anyone, yourself included, the means necessary to build multi-million dollar brands off the back of their own passion. All you need, really, is a computer, is Wi-Fi, is a phone, and the desire to take the business world head on. So what actually is the one person business model? Well, it's focused on freedom and the ability to generate substantial wealth. The one person business model lies within the creator economy, where individuals pursue their interests and skills to create their own income via means of their own education. No degree, no fancy job title, just the willingness to work and the passion to follow it through. It's no surprise that the education system is so outdated with everything you could ever want to learn at the touch of your fingertips. This actually allows you, this is good for you because it allows creators all the resources in the world to literally build their business by themselves from the ground up and with practically no costs at all, all self-taught and all capable from the comfort of their home. One of the most compelling and best parts of this business model is the ability it gives the user to fall head over heels into their own passion and also make a living from it. With possibilities ranging from health, wealth, money and relationships, there's almost no barrier to entry for those willing to take that first step. In the last few years, college kids have been falling straight out of university and instead of taking up a traditional route of a transactional job, a startup, an internship, is it any surprise that the solopreneur model is so compelling when you can make more money by doing less and control more of your own life? I'm actually one of those people too. I went to university, I got a random and useless degree and instantly found myself incapable of getting anything other than a minimum wage job. Things were not looking good right up until I decided to become the master of my own fate and build a business online. I managed to attract thousands of people every single month who were looking to revolve their life around making more money, having freedom, and actually doing something that they are passionate about. And the saying goes, follow your passion, which we know to be awful business advice, but nowadays it actually holds an awful lot of value. And why wouldn't you want to follow your passion and make money doing it? Sell your email marketing services for six figures a year from the comfort of your home or commute two hours a day to and from a job you hate, which pays a quarter as much. Which one is more appealing? Or better yet, there's no need to work for anyone ever again. The solopreneur business model seamlessly allows you to be a solopreneur, to be the boss and the employee building out your own brand and growing an audience of people you can inspire and eventually monetize. So what are some more examples of this one person business model and could any of them inspire you to start your own journey? Well, freelancing has been around for decades and it falls within work in which you work for someone else from an outside of an employment basis. But until recently, it was not very viable to scale this kind of business or do anything you particularly like. Sure, you could technically be a freelance bricklayer, but that would still mean commuting to work every day, working on site and probably doing some crap labor just to get by every day. Nowadays though, as we said, kids are dropping out of school and learning a digital skill like marketing, copywriting, video editing, or even web design, and then pitching it to businesses and making upwards of five figures a month. But how do they do this? Well, because of this incredible business model. Unlike laying bricks, it may be a lot of work, but it's certainly a good trade-off for the money you can stack up, and not to mention the fact that you can even go on to outsource this. And never before has creating content been more important than it is today, especially if you want to get into business. In the 21st century, attention is the new oil. 
if you know how to find it, you will almost certainly be able to make significant wealth from it. And even streaming platforms like Twitch, you're now able to start making content around a topic in which you have a passion for and build out yourself an audience. Through months, if not years, of accumulating loyal followers who resonate with your content, you'll be in the prime position to start making offers, to start selling them to your audience, even at a premium. As I said, kids are doing this on their own, starting theme pages on Instagram or affiliate pages on TikTok, meaning you don't even need to show your face anymore in order to garner a larger audience with as little as just a few thousand followers. Solopreneur following this one person business model is able to generate thousands of dollars every single week off their own back. So the question has to be asked, why would anyone get a job in this day and age? Isn't this all too good to be true? Well, the answer is actually, yeah, perhaps, but more likely than not, it's just because people have no idea that this is even a possible avenue they can take. And the best part of this is that it's so much easier than you think. If you're prepared to go the lengths, you're able to start your own brand inside the one person business model. This links in perfectly to the content creator method and actually is used a ton in the real world today. So what you're going to do is build up your audience on whichever platform suits you best, gain their trust and begin hinting at an exclusive product you're working on, which is going to provide them with huge amounts of value. From there, the world really is your sandbox. As one person and a passion to make this business a reality, you can build your own website, write it out nicely, order and design products from a manufacturer, take pictures for the website, even ask your friends to model the product or use it for demonstration illustrations and launch it all by yourself. The information to do all of that is already on the internet. Add a small startup cost for the initial products to show your audience, get sales in and use that money to fulfill orders. And the best part, this can still all be done from your bedroom. And this all sounds very appealing, I'm sure, but don't be fooled. Although the one person business model can all be done from home, it is still a business. It still requires dedication, long hours, a thick skin, and a keen eye to see what's happening, what's working, and the opportunities that arise. Many people out there are still not ready to generate their own income. They don't have that self-confidence to dig out the money from the sky themselves to take a different level. They aren't ready to actually succeed more than most. And it's also important to mention that the most successful people within this business model space are not the most glamorous or flashy, but provide the highest and most understandable content for their audience. Ticking the basics are the most important thing when it comes to being a one-person business. With all the freedom comes all the responsibility. The number one reason most people are not cut out for typical businesses is that they are not cut out for the one-person solopreneur business either. They require too much babysitting, reminding and motivating to get the work done even when they don't want to do it. It's important to understand that what success actually is within this business model and all things, it's imperative to know where you want to go before you set off. You see, in a typical business, profit is king. It makes the coffee taste better and the air smell fresher. But in the one person business model, that isn't entirely the case. Of course, money is a driving force, but that arguably falls short to the main reason someone would endeavor on this business model, which is freedom. Freedom to wake up when you want, where you want, work how much you want and where you want. And the most important factor with all of this is to make as much money as you want. Making a million dollars a year for a 90 hour work week is not the goal. The goal might be 200 grand a year at 10 to 15 hours a week. Less money, but the trade-off for the amount of freedom is the real selling point for the vast majority of people pursuing this idea. So when you do start, don't think about the number you want to make each year, but more the number of hours you wish to work each week. From there, you can figure out how to make more profit in these hours, thus making more money. The ability to get up one day, fly to France, set up your laptop in a nice hotel and continue to work that should be the goal you have in mind. Not the mega yacht or the private plane, the flexibility to live a great life with the most important resource on earth at your disposal, which is time. Before jumping straight into anything, it's key to make sure you have a plan. But this does come with a caveat. Don't fall into analysis paralysis. Sitting down for weeks planning out content designs and ideas, it's pointless until you make it a reality. In the time you can take making all these ideas, you could be implementing one of them. And from there, see how it plays out, learn from it, and start going forward onto your next idea. In this business, 
the star and figure it out along the way mantra is your best friend. The best way to get things right is to start getting them wrong. Be prepared to relearn how you learn. School never taught you business and believe me, neither did your business teacher. All the intricacies and theories of business are pointless in the face of what really matters in this game. This is not a job, it's a lifestyle. You don't have work hours, you have hours that you need to work. Reconditioning your brain to the world of running a business is step one in making sure you have what it takes to pull this off. You must ignore what you've been taught. There are seriously people out there who try this business model and think, it's 8pm so I won't do any more work until tomorrow. And that is school conditioning you. In the world of a one person business, you work until the work is done or you don't get paid. Most of the time, that will be done by midday if you organize it correctly. But if you need to do something by tomorrow morning and it's 9 p.m., there is no excuse, so you put your head down. And on top of this, there's one more super important thing to understand that some things are inevitable. One of those things is imposter syndrome. You feel upon starting, everyone will get it, a sense that you don't belong in this part of life, that the business world isn't for you, and that couldn't be more wrong. The mere fact that you're considering or even about to start this this idea makes you worthy of doing it. Every entrepreneur started somewhere. Jeff Bezos was scared to start a business at some point. I wasn't exactly roaring to start mine either, but as long as you can prepare for it and understand that with time and patience, your sense of belonging will grow and it will go away, that imposter syndrome, you will be fine. YouTube is your best friend. The internet is your global marketplace for information, resources, and outsourcing. That's what makes this model so great, so remember that. Almost anything you need to figure out, whether it be setting up on Instagram or a way to convey messages better to your audience, someone else has had that same issue and they published how they managed to fix it. The willingness to learn or be a student or other others is a shortcut in this business. Of course, learning lessons on your own is important, but being efficient with your time is just as key. And no, like I mentioned, there's simply no barrier to entry. From 15 to 50, there are people doing exactly what I described right now, making content about finance strategies all the way to editing TikTok shorts for a living, all for themselves. Just know that the predetermined life route given to you is not the solution. You don't have to work a nine to five at a job you hate. You don't have to work a trade, cleaning toilets or fixing light bulbs. You don't even need to reinvent the wheel. Starting a business based off someone else's content with your own twist is extremely popular nowadays. So what's to say you can't do the same? Or what's more, perhaps you know more than they do and you can do it better. Better to take the step and fail than live wondering what if.